Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So you guys asked and we've listened. So we've gotten emails, quite a bit of them asking to basically email them when um, there, we have a sale or a you know, a, cor a course is launched by a coach or live meditations get started up again. So we have listened, we have created a mailing list. The link is in the description below. Please sign up for it if you'd like to get discounts on our coaching, find out when a, a, a coach launches a bundle, puts a sale on a course, you know, launches a new course or starts, um, you know, offering live meditations, all these things, we're going to be emailing that list, okay? Of course, we'll also mention it on the YouTube channel like usual, but you'll be the first to know on that mailing list. So guys, thank you so much for being here. And we intend that each and every one of you guys manifest your desire and remember, you guys are perfect. Each and every one of you is perfect and you deserve what you want to create and you are powerful and you can create it. So without further ado, enjoy the coach's video. Hi everyone, it's Angela with Create Your Future. I am a certified law of assumption coach. And today I want to talk about dealing with fear and more specifically about overcoming fear and becoming fearless, stepping into our power. But before we start, I just want to intend that this video is enlightening, empowering, and that it leads you into a place of deeper understanding and awareness in your manifesting journey. Okay, guys, let's just jump into this um, discussion about fear. Uh, so I want you to know just right off the bat that the 3D is nothing to fear. The, the 3D is powerless and that is usually what um, gives us the feeling of fear something shows up in our 3d reality something that is the opposite of what we're manifesting something that maybe we were dreading or um, just something that we had been worried about um, and something shows up and we become very fearful in that moment by what we see but the 3d in and of itself has no power. The 3D cannot create. The 3D cannot um, create anything in your future. It's simply a reflection of what has been going on internally, what you have been um, allowing to be on the inside of you. It has pushed out. And so I want you to know that right off the bat to, to kind of recognize that the 3D is, is nothing to be afraid of. It is simply an old reflection, an old story. It has pushed out and shown up for you as a road sign to say, this is where, you, where you've been, this is what you've been thinking on, and this is what you need to change. So that is, that is all the 3D is, those circumstances that come into our life. And that's generally what causes us to be afraid, to become fearful, is what we see showing up in our reality. It makes us feel powerless. It makes us feel like, oh no, this situation has just now turned against me. It's set in stone. There's nothing I can do. This is, oh no, this is it. But we do not have to fear that 3D. The only power ever that the 3D has actually is just the power that we might give it. If we focus on it, if we um, give it our attention, if we interact with it and get drawn into it, we are then giving it power. But simply, if you take the 3D um, from the position that you are the observer and just look at what's showing up there, it's nothing to fear. It's just showing you where you, you have been internally. So I, I want to cover that for sure so that we can kind of get that out there and know that it's not something that we need to fear. And as you begin to um, recognize that and step into who you are in the 3D world, as far as being the creator in your reality, the only creator in your reality, the only operant power in your reality, this should help you overcome that um, feeling of fear and panic and sometimes just that 
helplessness, hopelessness, and desperation that we often fall into when our 3D presents us with things that we don't really like or the things that are the opposite of what we are looking for. So it all starts with going in. When we are um, wanting to become strong, fearless, and overcome our fears, it starts with the internal work, the internal peace. And I know that that's much easier said than done. I, I know what it feels like when that panic and that fear and that anxiety sets in. It's, it's triggering and it's trying, but I'd like to encourage you to really take time to work on who you are, to recognize your God state, the state of being the only upfront power, the state within where you are very powerful. And it simply takes some dedication and some focus to be devoted to you, to be devoted to focusing not on what is out there externally, but focusing and developing your connection to the I am within, the power within, the unlimited part of you on the inside of you connecting with that piece. And it's it's what I go back to all the time. It's your foundation for who you are as the God of your reality and the only operant power in your reality. So I kind of like to just maybe create a little scenario here for you. Think of a king that has absolute authority and power in a kingdom whatever might be showing up in that kingdom, whatever um, undesirable thing might be happening, a king does not have to come down off of his throne, get in the middle of some mess and try to fix things or look at it and be fearful and uh, scared and feel powerless. A king that has all authority and all power stays on the throne, stays in the position of his authority, and sends out an order, an edict. He makes a command. And then he expects that his command is going to be followed up and everything will just be brought to him on a silver platter, done, finished, completed, just as he desires. He doesn't have to you know, fumble around and wonder if people are listening or be worried or be doubtful or be scared. He simply makes a command and from his place of strength, he knows that his command will be followed. That is who you are in your reality. You are the king, the queen, the God in your quantum reality. You are the only one that's in charge. And I want you to really dedicate time in cultivating that. So go within, remind yourself, I am the I am. I am connecting to my unlimited self. I am connecting to my all powerful self. I am waking up to all that I have been called to do, all that I've been called to be, Everything is within me. Everything is flowing through me. It's happening now. Affirm, affirm things like that, that build up your God state, that build up the confidence in who you are. And I promise you, if you make that a priority in your manifesting life, everything else that you're manifesting is going to come in a lot quicker. Because you are going to know, no matter what is showing up in your 3D reality, that you can change that. That you are the final authority, the final voice. You have nothing to fear because it's all coming through you. And it's all within your kingdom, your realm. So focus on developing your God self. Focus on connecting to that place inside of you and becoming more aware and more awake of your power. And when you have those moments when the fear does come in, 
and you're manifesting something in particular and you're seeing the opposite. It's something that's um, causing you to panic, doubt, be scared, afraid, you know, those really negative feelings. Rather than in that moment of affirming against the fear, because when we do that from that position of fear, when we firm against, we're really just pushing out more fear. And by pushing out more fear, we're just perpetuating the 3D response to that and creating more of it. So in those moments, when you just feel that fear come on, drop, drop what you're seeing, drop your desire, back up and focus on you. Focus on your God state. Focus on the power within. Remind yourself of who you are. Remind yourself that you are the only opera power and remind yourself of your strength and devote that time to, to making yourself strong, calm, and at peace. Because when you become internally strong, calm, and at peace, you push that out. And that's where we want to be as we're manifesting. So really focus on you, focus on yourself, and make that the priority. Make that the first thing you do in the morning. Make that the way that you wake up. Remind yourself you're the only operant power. This is your world. You're the God of your world. You can have, do, be anything and start from there. And then when you get yourself built up and you feel that strength, work on your other manifestations. Work on the other things that you want to see show up in your life. But make you the priority, strengthening your power within the priority. I intend that this is very motivating and you are just ready to go out there and become all that you can be. Okay, I also want to remind you about our really great contest. We are still going to give away a couple coaching sessions when we reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you would like to join the contest, just uh, click in the description box and there's a link that tells you how to join. Also, I am available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you'd like to work with me, look in the description box as well. And you can sign up for some coaching. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.